Hello and good morning everyone. So now <clears throat> we are on page 140 where we are um, USML is step 1 micro -mi microbiology section where we are talking about the mycobacteria. Initially we have talked about this nocardia and actinomyces which are from branching filamentous bacteria. Even mycobacterium tuberculosis, the mycobacterium species are gram positive. They fall on the gram positive aerobic organism but they are weakly gram positive. We usually do a stain known as the acid fast stain or zehil nansen stain that helps to in the detection of mycobacterium tuberculosis and <clears throat> discard, discard, discards all other bacteria present in the sputum sample or any sample you are processing. So actually mycobacterium is a, also called a acid fast bacilli. You can see the first line acid fast rod, rod is called a pink rod. Why it is called acid fast? Because this organism can resist the assist even in decolonization means even after 20 percent highly concentrated H2SO4 sulfuric acid after 20 percent H2SO4 washing also they doesn't lose its primary color the pink color the carbol fushing color and because of that this organism is known as the acid fast stain they doesn't become colorless after its color after um, decolorizing with the acid after washing with the acid so it is called the acid fast stain okay so let me clear you that acid fast organism are mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leptri nocardia species which are pre discussed previously and the coccidian parasite few of them among them mycobacterium tuberculosis can even not lose the color even after 20 percent of sulfuric acid whereas that other even nocardia this actin mycobacterium leptri they all lose it Actually, mycobacterium lepri only resist 5% of H2SO4, whereas nocardia only 1%. So, if you are talking about 20%, everything will be cleared, everything will be colorless except mycobacterium species, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay, so they have because they have contained this mycolic acid, they preserve they due to what happened on first step we put the carbol fusin, then we heat it, the dye gale goes inside, and then we decolorize it. After decolorizing, since it is has trapped. Now it doesn't lose its color even after 20 percent of sulfuric acid. Now let's move on. So it is, it is known as the acid fast and carbon fusion color is pink rod. So this is the pink rod. You can see over some are the will be the dotted, some are will be at the dotted, but these are the pink rod and this is the acid fast stain. In the first stain we have put the carbon fusion, then we heat it so the dry goes inside the um, bacterial, then we decolorize with the H2SO for 20 percent, it doesn't lose its color. And finally, at last, we use the counter stain that has taken the blue color of the background, methylene blue. Okay, so in this way, now the stain has been performed, and you can see the bacteria, all other bacteria, if present also, they are become colorless, they are not being observed here. Only the pink bacilli are being observed, and that is because of the tuber mycobacterium tuberculosis. So, after AF AFB stain, after Zenon stain, if you see this like type of pink rods, then you have to understand. Now he or she has the tuberculosis in in our he in his sample. That is the point. Okay. Now, <clears throat> mycobacterium. What are those organism like mycobacterium tuberculosis, mycobacterium avium intracellularly, mycobacterium is scrofulaceum and mycobacterium marinum. So mycobacterium tuberculosis. What does it do, does it cause? It causes the tuberculosis, often resistant to the multiple drug. Mycobacterium avium intracellularly cause disseminated non-tuberculosis disease in AIDS, often resistant to multiple multiple drug. And in AIDS patient, actually, when the CD4 count goes below actually 50, you can say prophylaxis with azithromycin when CD4 count less than 50. So if a patient develop this mycobacterium tuberculosis can cause disease in any person, but this mycobacterium avium intracellular will only cause in AIDS patient when their CD4 count goes below 50. So in that case, this will come to play in role and cause the disease to that patient. So any patient that has AIDS and his, his or her CD4 count has become less than 50, then you have to think about mycobacterium avium intracellular com complex and then you need to treat that. Okay, if we actually give prophylaxis if a CD4 count is less than 50 in the patient with AIDS. Okay. Now we will move forward and goes to the mycobacterium scrofulaceum where they cause cervical lymphadenopathy in the children and then the mycobacterium marinum according to the name marinum actually they get a marine environment and that causes the hand infection in an aquarium hand lot. So those who are having the aquarium processing in, the, in those patients they can develop this mycobacterium marinum 
infection. This is mainly hand infection or we can say wound infection like. Scrofulosium, cervical lymphadenopathy. Now, you're talking about the tuberculosis, which is the one the most high yield question and most high yield for every part of your life. That tuberculosis symptoms include the fever, night sweat, weight loss, cough, non-productive or productive, depend upon the which stage you are, and hemoptysis. So there will be the fever. There will be the low-grade evening night fever, night sweat, weight loss will be predominant. There will be cough, even hemoptysis. These are the symptoms that present by a tuberculosis patient. Now talking about the cord factor, actually cord factor is there that creates a serpentine cord appearance in the virulence mycobacterium tuberculosis stain. So what is the cord factor? Cord factor is a virulence factor that is present in the virulent mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay, this helps in the serpentine, serpentine cord appearance. Okay. And they have also activated the macrophage promoting the granuloma formation and induce the release of the TNF alpha. So mycobacterium tuberculosis enhance the macrophage activate the macrophage that helps in the granular formation we'll talk about the granuloma and they also induce the release of tnf alpha they have additional one thing that is the sulfatetides this is the surface glycolipids inhibit the phagolysosome fusion what does it do actually any bacteria what when engulfed by the macrophage it goes in the phagosome then if it is not able to kill over there then it takes the help of the lysosome where the lysosomes have the heavy bacteria they fuse and then they kill that one okay so there is an inhibit phagolysosome is the place where the organism get interinterested and then get killed that is important okay so talking about this phagosome mm, sulfatidides it inhibits the phagolysosome fusion and in, because of that the organism easily get they are easily survive and they can be helped in their progresses the pathogenesis takes place now talking about the tuberculosis look tuberculosis when you engulf a bacteria this is the droplet in no this is the airborne infection droplet in less than five micrometer so it can travel to a long space this is not like a uh, coronavirus we have talked initially that it a droplet infection it will only travel into one over 1.5 meters so people will get infected only to the droplets the large droplet they can this is the airborne they can travel they can people can get infected a long way you know if you are in a large uh, conference room so one part of the patient who is infected can transmit it at the end of the person as well at the end of the room person can get infected because they are Particle. They can even transport it less than 5 micrometer. So this one, 1 to 5 micrometer in that size they can transport. This is airborne. They can travel long and cause infection. Okay. Now when a tuberculosis patient come in close contact with you, not even close, if they can come in the contact with you, they have the active tuberculosis, open tuberculosis, they spread the bacteria, the bacteria enter inside your nose and then goes to your lungs. Once it enters inside the lungs, it goes by the the alveolar macrophage actually catch it. Once the alveolar macrophage will catch it, it will engulf and try to kill it. After killing, they will not be able to fuse the phagolysosome, so the bacteria will survive in the macrophage. Okay, so you can see the bacteria has been inhaled, then goes to the lungs, and in the lungs, they are, they are the primary, this macrophage, alveolar macrophage is attacking and they are causing the disease over here. Once macrophage is not able to able to handle that organism, not able to kill all the organism, they will process, they will pick and goes to the regional lymph node, nearby lymph node, where they will activate the cell mediated immunity, anti-cell immunity. So they will try to activate the cell mediated immunity actually. Okay. So once it goes to the lymph node, there will be a lymph node enlargement to deal with this infection. So the primary focus, the primary, the bacteria get inhaled, it goes into the lungs, at the lung, lung side, this de develop the lesion, the bacteria fighting goes with the human, hum, human alveolar macrophage and this the fighting takes place and after taking place, they develop, this is called the gone focus. So one focal point has been infected. Once this is unable to handle, it will send the signal to the, our regional immunity, that is the regional lymph node, so hyalur lymph node. It will send to the hyaluronic lymph node, there will be a hyaluronic enlargement as well. So once this particular focus and this hyaluronic lymph node is involved, they are known as the GUN complex. Are you getting my point? After going to there, there are the two fit. One, in 90% of cases, this will heal by fibrosis and develop the calcification. Okay, so if you do the PPD test, it will be positive. Reactivation can occur, but reactivation doesn't occur in the 
lower lobe or mid lobe it will actually goes to the upper lobes so upper lobe has a increased oxygen tension this is an aerobic organism so reactivation always occur in the upper lobe that we have to understand initially you inhale after inhaling it will go usually to your if you're in the right lung they are goes to the directly into your middle and lower lobes and then there will cause the the fighting between the bacteria and the human goes on the battle is going on then they will take the help on the lymph node so lymph node will be enlarged it comes it in activate the uh, cell mediated immunity then what happened this hyaluronic complex come it has now two 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 fit one it can be healed if the patient will not get tuberculosis calcification but it's still since the bacteria is inside your body if you do the ppd test that in montuk sticks or tuberculin test there's a delay hypersensitivity which indicates the bacteria is present or not so it will be positive if the patient anyhow by any means the patient immunity goes down then in that situation it will develop the reactivation and once reactivation occur this will lead to the secondary tuberculosis when in the apical zone where there is the high oxygen tension that you have to understand and in the, usually another thing that's and this can be progressed to the localized destructive disease that is the cavity cagation and scar that is the fate and another is that a patient will progress to the tuberculosis patient will develop the active tb so how it will develop it will primary progressive tuberculosis will develop okay and in this way there will be development of like in a patient with aids or malnutrition the progressive disease will progress if disease progress they will there will be the like lung involvement there will be more lung will be damaged progressive lung disease even this bacteria will be spread from the blood to the all different parts of your body so once bacteria once the disease progress there are two fit abolito one will be healed calcified another will be progress as the active tb in whose on what are we patient the patient who has malnutrition or who has immunocompromised who has less immunity like aids or cancer or some immunosuppressive drug they are taking so what are when this disease will be progress because your immunity is calcifying it it is in in closing that infection that mycobacterium tuberculosis so your immunity is a very active role to calcify or for calcification if your immunity is not there obviously 100% not 10% if you are if you have low immunity if your immunity is not active then you will not able you doesn't fall in 90% case you fall in 10% case that is you have developed aids or malnutrition or your immunity has been decreased due to any reason any obviously the disease will progress to the primary pulmonary tuberculosis okay even if the load of the bacteria is very high it goes to in your blood and then even comes to back to the lungs and cause miliary tuberculosis or can spread to the other different part of the body like it goes to the brain cause meningitis vertebra cause the post disease lymph node lungs even liver spleen adrenal gland joints and bones and everywhere and every place you can get tuberculosis so you can get tb in the brain if it is in a whole over the body it is called disseminated tb that will be very rare it can be a miliary tuberculosis in your lung whole lung get involved or it can transfer that blood and it may develop tubercular meningitis may develop into vertebra pots disease may can affect the spleen or liver or adrenal gland or even may, may cause bone or joint tb that you have to understand okay now talking about their ppd if ppd infection is positive in case of both that there may be a current or past exposure any infection the ppd will be positive okay tuberculin test doesn't rule out it is a present infection or past infection it is positive in both case once you put inside the skin the heart type 4 hypersensitivity reaction kicks on they this they, they indicate you already have the fighting cells in your body so once you have exposed to the tuberculosis your immune cell get activated the activated cell if you put a, this is a dead cell, dead purified protein derivative of tuber mycobacterium species when you put the uh, body thinks that okay i have got a one more bacteria and they comes there they put everything over there and try to kill or kill it or seal it so in sealing process there will be the induration and that is due to that is we measure it in how much induration is there that is tuberculin test so it is present in any previous or past infection even present people doesn't have infection then also ppd test will be positive due to a previous exposure 
PPT negative means either you don't have any time in your life, you are not exposed to the dysbacilli, tubercular bacilli, or your immunity has been lowered down by especially or in an immunocompromised patient, especially with a low CD4 cell count. Okay. They also release this interferon gamma. There is a test called interferon gamma releasing assay this is IGR has a fewer false positive rate this is very this can be specific only very few uh, false positive rate is there and from actually patient with BCG vaccination so this can be an alternative test which is known as the TB gamma ferron test TB gold gamma ferron test okay then there will be the caseatin granuloma with central necrosis and Langhan cells you should remember this tuberculosis chronic infection always leads to this granuloma formation. So there will be a granuloma, but that is a caseating one that is important. So tuberculosis has a caseating granuloma with central necrosis. You can see over here, there will be the caseating granuloma with central necrosis and Langhans gyal cell. This Langhans gyal cell should not be con confused with the um, Langerhans cell, this, which is an antigen presenting cell. Let me convert, let me show you over here. This is the central point. Where is the bacteria? Then there will be the fight between the bacteria and the macrophage. So there will be the now development of the caseating necrosis, central caseating necrosis and granuloma will be formed. Granuloma will fall because all the lymph nodes of lymphocyte will come and try to, if they are not able to kill the organism, they are trying to encircle the organism. They are trying to hold that organism. They are trying to encircle and enclose the organism. So it will enclose and not let to bypass the circle, not let to escape the circle and cause you the infection. So they will enclose in the circle. So this circle is known as the granuloma. There is a all mul multiple giant cell you can see. This is known as the Langhan giant cell. And these all are the lymph lymphocyte actually. Okay. Single example are the characteristics of the secondary tuberculosis. Do not confuse Langhans giant cell with the Langerhans cell. This is Langerhans cell is the normal cell that is present as a, that is present in our body, which is known as the antigen presenting cell. But do not conf confuse with the Langhans giant cell. Langhans giant cell is the characteristic feature of the tuberculosis. Okay. Now reactivation, TB reactivation risks highest in the immunocompromised individual, example HIV and organ transplant. We have already discussed that there will be the reactivation of the TB and the reactivation of the TB mostly occurs in the apical region of the lung. Okay. So what will be the, in the not cell you can say that these are the mycobacterium tuberculosis are the acid fast bacilli which can be actually um, see the pink in color. They are the, we know the characteristic feature of mycobacterium tuberculosis. We have known the pathogenesis. Okay, and their treatment are always, always like a combination drug is given. For diagnosis, we do the AFD stain. We can do the even oramine rhodamine stain. Then we culture, culture in the loin sensor media. Okay, and then further we can do the uh, this gene export test or PCR of the gene amplification test. By this, we can confirm our tuberculosis. There can be a lot of questions. In, pre in subsequent lecture, we will again discuss uh, about the tuberculosis if required and if you have any question you can send below the link and we will answer your question accordingly. Thank you.